this is a lockdown place and I have been doing a series of videos showing what all the options for these visages that you can get under uh, the Quicksilver menu are and someone on the discord asked for a similar video for the helmets for the first spawn battle battle mask for the eye of the Corvax helmet for the blazing orbit helmet and for the sparse horizons helmet there is also another helmet that you can get from the dreams of the deep mission I can't remember what it's called, but I will demonstrate that as well. Now I just rebooted my PS4, so hopefully my video card will actually be accepting this information. Now unlike the, the visages uh, where you need to be a traveler, in order to use a helmet you have to be an anomaly. And this is true even for the Gek and the uh, Corvax um, helmets. So let me just switch everything to black. Oops really quick to make it so we don't get reflections on everything. So the helmets we're going to demo here are uh, this one, which for me is number 12. The numbers might not be the same for you, but for me number 12 is the Sparse Horizons helmet. Number 13 is the Blazing Orbit helmet. Number 14 is the helmet you get from the Dreams of the Deep mission. I don't remember what it's called. Number 15 is the Eye of the Corvax helmet. And number 16 is the Gek First Spawn Battle Mask. So let's do number 12, which is the Sparse Horizon helmet. Um, we set the primary color, and that is uh, the back of the helmet and pretty much everything that isn't the screen. And then the accent color is going to be the screen itself. Now it looks like the stripe here at the base is going to stay black. Let's see if that's true if we change the markings. So we go to markings 1, the primary color again is the back of the mask and the side and underneath. The secondary color here is the detail around the face mask, so around the ear and around the top, and then the accent color, I'm going to guess, is again the face mask itself. And again, the stripe that goes around the bottom in, into the breathing apparatus is going to remain black. So the next one is, of course, the the blazing orbit helmet you have these red uh, uh cables these red pipes uh that you cannot change the color of i believe but other than that the primary color is going to be the, the the main part of the helmet that's not too surprising and then the accent color is going to change the color of the eye mask and then the face grill for for, for lack of a better term so let's show those look like but as, as you notice the color of, of of the cables at the front the breathing apparatus is going to stay red so let's switch to markings one that added a color so let's make the primary color red that's the main helmet of course secondary color is the stripes on top that make it look like it's sponsored by monster uh, energy drinks it's also on the face mask there in front and then the accent color again is going to be the eyes so that's markings one, and then markings two, what did that do? Primary is still the main thing, Prime, or secondary color, ah, the secondary color gave us the option to change the secondary color to the area around the, the face mask, it's a little bit over here on the nose, a little bit here on, on, on the breathing apparatus, and then the accent color again is going to be the eye grill. Okay, so that's the Blazing Orbit Helmet. Next we have, this is the one you get from the Dreams of the Deep. I wish I remembered what, it what it's called, but I don't. And it looks like the only thing that we can change here is the color of the light, the face grill. I like this helmet a lot just because I like the, the sort of you know, 1960s science fiction feel to it, but it just doesn't have enough options in my opinion. Okay, the next one is the eye of the Corvax. We'll start here with marking set to zero. 
The primary color, not too surprising, is the mane of, of the head. And it looks like the jaw section is staying green no matter what we do. And then the accent color is changing the color of the light. Now this may change if we go to the markings. That's markings one. Okay, the primary color is the outside of the helmet on the side. The secondary color is the middle ridge. Let me change that to a color that's actually different. And then the accent color is, again, the color of the light. Now I'm going to go back to markings one because the jaw is no longer uh, uh, green and I want to see if it's... Yeah, if, if you want to change the color of the jaw on marking zero, you need to set it on markings one first as, as the secondary color. Okay, let's go to markings two. That changed the middle ridge so it has different... So uh, some of it is, is gray and you can change the middle, the very middle of the, of the ridge with the secondary color. The accent color is again the light and the primary color is the, the side panels. Okay, so that's Eye of Corvax. And last we have the Battle Spawn Helmet. Um, a lot of people complain that uh, you can't do this while you actually have the body set to be Gek. That makes a little bit of sense with, with the lore, because the Gek themselves, the, N, the NPC Gek, have, uh, uh, what, what's the term? Well, they, they disavow all of the Gek spawn, the evil gen genocidal stuff that the ancient Gek did, and so the, the, the battle spawn helmet is all about that genocide, so it makes sense that the Gek wouldn't want to use this helmet. Having said that, if, if you want to do it, there is a body shape that does make it a little bit more gecky, for lack of a better term. And that's the body shape for, is, is a little bit shorter. It's not as short as, as if you go full on gek. Let's not do this because I, I want to save something here. I just want to save everything except black is three. So let's go to gek. Yeah, it's not nearly as short, but it's as close as you can get to, to set the body shape to four. Um, so let's go back to the head and go back to the battle spawn. Wait, I want to set the body as all black, black again. I just find this e easier to to make everything black so it's easier to see what's reflecting. Okay, so we're back to the battle spawn helmet. The primary color, not too surprising, is the entire head. And the accent color doesn't seem to do much on settings marked zero. It could be that I'm missing something, but I don't think so. So if we set the markings to one, again, the primary color, that gives the the nose bridge, uh, the side crest, and the ears are set to the primary color. The secondary color is the mouth grate, the eye ridges, and the top crest. And the accent color is the color of the eyes. So let's make that fairly distinctive. That's, none of those are very distinctive, are they? Okay, so that's a little bit. You can kind of see what it is there. And I went to marking zero again, and you can see that that changed. So the accent color in marking zero is changing the color of the eye lights. It's just really tough to see in the lighting here. So I think that's all of the helmet options. Um, so I hope this is useful uh, so you can decide if you want to spend your hard-earned Quicksilver on these helmets or on the visages that you can use when you're a traveler. I happen to like the Mercury one, and they, I have done videos for all of those, which you can see in one of my playlists. So I hope you found this useful, and if you want to subscribe, that would be great. If not, that's totally cool too. I make these to make to help the game be easier for new players. I'm not trying to sell anything. Um, so uh, I hope you have a great day. Thank you.